Welcome back to Nuclearis and the reactor shutdown tutorial. Let's start. First of all, on the iPads will want to request a maintenance shutdown. They will get in touch with you and give you a target time, but don't worry too much about that because it will take us so long to do this, we'll be on time anyway. While the plant is idle, we can use our assistant to gather a maintenance report. So we'll deactivate whatever operational tasks he's doing and send him on a preventive Operator, maintenance analysis I'm going task. To start with the analysis of the situation of the plant. We'll now start winding down the plant's ability to generate power. So first of all, insert the control rods fully. Because the plant will soon no longer be generating power, we'll want to start the generator. Wait until the generator is on and providing power before proceeding. We want to stop generating energy entirely, so we'll turn the turbine bypass all the way up to 100. After you've set the value to 100 before proceeding, check that the current value is 100. Because we're not generating power, we don't need to worry about overloading the resistors, so we'll switch the resistor banks off. On the coolant system panel, set the speed to fast and set all the freight pumps to load. Before proceeding, check that the current flow speed has reached 100. On the steam generator panel, set the flow speed to fast. And once again before proceeding, check the current flow speed is 100. On the pressurizer panel, we're going to open the cooling valve. We'll monitor the reactor core, looking for a temperature of 100 degrees before proceeding. On the fuel panel, we'll now set the reactor operation mode to shutdown. On the coolant system panel, we'll set the core outer vessel to remove to start draining the reactor pool. Monitor the pool to make sure it's draining, you'll see it pulse and the water level will decrease. Monitor the reactor core and wait for a core temperature of 54 degrees. On the fuel panel, we can now extract the fuel from the core. Wait for the non-reactive message before continuing. On the pressurizer panel, we can now close the cooling valve. On the cooling system panel, we'll set core outer vessel to off. We can now stop all of the freight pumps. On the condenser panel, stop the condenser. On the coolant system panel, switch off circulation pumps. Before proceeding on the pressurizer panel, check the cooling valve is red or closed, and then move the position to off. The reactor is now shut down and the plant is ready for maintenance. After this shutdown, the reactor can be restarted with no problem. Instructions on how to restart the reactor can be found in the video and checklist on the end card and in the pinned comment. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this useful. Take care, and I'll see you next time.